So in the last year, I've traveled to Dubai, LA, Quebec, Paris, San Francisco, Florence, Vancouver, Denver, Seattle, Stockholm, Bali, Comic-Con, went to an award show, won an Emmy. Some people might consider me to be successful. So in this video, I want to do some confessions. The confessions of a quote unquote successful person. Confession number one. I rarely, if ever, post my worst drawings. You know, we all see our own worst drawings and then we look on the internet and we see all these wonderful, amazing drawings. Well, the thing that we want to keep in mind is that other people don't usually post their worst drawings either. So we are constantly seeing our worst drawings, yet we are never seeing anybody else's worst drawings. And so all of a sudden we kind of see everybody up here and we forget that, you know what, they a lot of times draw down here as well. It's just that we don't see it. Next confession I want to make is that a lot of times I feel like an imposter. I really do working on big Hollywood movies, working with artistic heroes of mine, actors and directors that I always want to work with. A lot of times I don't feel worthy. I don't feel like I'm equipped or I'm qualified to be working on these things. A lot of times I feel like an imposter. And a lot of times I feel like I kind of just wiggled my way in there and got the job somehow. And it's just that nobody knows that I'm unqualified yet. Shh. Next confession I want to make is for the last six months, I feel like I've been in an artistic slump. Everything that I've been doing artistically, I absolutely don't like it. Every project that I worked on, everything that I painted or drew, uh, I don't feel like it's good. I feel like I've just been declining. Um, everything that I do, I'm just like, ugh, I almost cringe. You know, the reason I'm telling you this is because I feel like we all kind of go through these things. And hopefully you are, you know, some of you might be going through this as well. And hopefully this little confession session will help you. So the next confession I want to make is I feel like everybody has either caught up to me or surpassed me. All these people just doing such amazing art from all over the world. And uh, a lot of times looking through my news feed, a lot of times it's totally inspiring and sometimes it's a little depressing because I see so much good art out there. And last confession I want to make is a lot of the daily tips that I give, a lot of these videos and the tips I give in the videos, they're not just for the art community, it's also for myself. You know, reminders for me to stay on track, to keep going, to believe in myself, to pick myself up when I'm not feeling too hot. Now the takeaways I hope that you get from this video is that it's okay to feel like this. Fear, stress, these kind of things, they can be used in a good way as long as we kind of funnel it in a good way. You know, I use the fear of people catching up to me, surpassing me as a reason to keep learning, to constantly improve and to keep teaching helps to fuel that little fire of everybody's catching up. So as I start to learn, I keep trying to teach it. I keep trying to spread the good knowledge all over the place. And that in turn puts me on even more of a mission to learn even more stuff because as I start teaching the art community and the people around me, the things that I've learned or know, I feel like I need to learn more stuff. I feel like I need to get ahead even more. And I think that's a good thing, you know, because constant improvement, constant learning is the thing that will help anybody out there. Even if you're completely unknown, you learn enough in the world, you learn enough about art and the world has no choice but to notice your art. I think the real key to this is just to get used to it. Get used to the stress, get used to the pressure, get used to these things and let them be the fuel for your fire. Now fire is something that we all need to keep warm, to survive, but it's also something that we need to keep in check, to keep in control. Same with all of these little doubts, these fears, these concerns. It's something that we need to keep in control, but if we can keep it in control, then we'll do amazing things and it'll be the fuel for your fire to succeed and to improve and to go beyond your wildest dreams. If it makes sense to you, just keep pushing forward, even if it's scary, even if you don't think that you'll make it, just keep doing the right steps 
the steps that you feel logically will get you to that big dream that you might not even dare to dream. And a huge part of this is all through learning, whether it's through books, whether it's through videos, whether it's through workshops, whatever it is, just do it. Now, schoolism is something that I built so that I could teach myself and to educate myself as well as making something affordable for everybody in the world to be able to learn from the top professionals. And right now, we have a monthly subscription where you can subscribe to any class on schoolism for just $15 a month. Would you pay to buy a great artist dinner once a month? for them to teach you, to give you courses, to give you assignments? If so, if that's logical to you, I absolutely encourage you to sign up for a Schoolism subscription and start learning. Great knowledge should be available to everybody in the planet, and it should be all about our hard work, our dedication, that determines our success. Until September 30th, if you sign up for a Schoolism monthly subscription, you actually get the first seven days for free, so it's risk-free, sign up today. Keep working hard, keep pushing, fight for those dreams, and dream big. Now, as always, if this video has helped you, spread it around with your friends, share it on your social media, things like that. All right, everyone, so if you like the video, you wanna learn more, you wanna improve as an artist, highly recommend clicking over to Schoolism, signing up for the newsletter, because in this newsletter, you will always get free videos and tutorials and news about Schoolism so you can keep up to date with what's going on in the world. Click over now, and I'll see you guys next time.